what I have here is my Leopard installation, which is 10.5.8, which I'm up to. And what I'm making right now is a super drive, which is going to be able to install all of the operating systems you see here. So that in the event I ever have to install anything ever again, I'll be prepared and I won't have to go grab any install disks. I'll just have everything on this drive. So once I set up how I wanted everything to be partitioned, how I wanted everything to be formatted, I'll just go ahead and click apply and watch everything go. Okay, as you can see, I have the uh, EFI sort of emulation going on here, and I have a list of uh, different drives and different operating systems that I'm going to put on each drive. Uh, but for now, I just have the Mac one set up. So 10.5.6 is there. Uh, and what we're going to do 10.5.6 and 10.6. There it is. So. Let's get installing. Hopefully it doesn't crash. It might crash. And I'm going to wipe out my other 10.5.8. Uh, hard drive just to install this and you know hopefully it, it goes through without a hitch but you never know that's why I put the backup on there just in case I have to reinstall it back so I have all my things backed up just in case but since I'm not using a CD-ROM hopefully things should move a little faster Okay, not not going. <laughs> it's totally not going. Hmm. Let's see if we can find a workaround for this. Okay, so I was finally able to get it to boot, but I, what I had to do was remove uh, both of my video cards, PCI Express, and use just the built-in onboard video. Uh, for some reason it did not crash, it didn't halt, and it allowed me to boot. So let's see if we are able to install. Um, also another problem, the mouse and keyboard stopped working, so I hooked up a second mouse and hopefully I can click my way through the installation. Uh, but we will see. Space on this disk. I should be able to tell it to go somewhere else. That's so only recognizing. Uh, only recognizing this disk, which is an uh, external drive that I have. It's not recognizing anything that's already inside the computer, so that's another problem. So uh, let me see if I can just go ahead and format one of these partitions and install it on that. 